It's just the different names now. That's what's cheeky. You know, there are, there are, there are now over a hundred different names like, for sugar. I, I know. My yeah. favourite is Grape Mist. Grape Mist. <laughs> oh my God. I have two Grape Mists in my coffee. Delicious. <laughs> I'm standing here in Toronto with Damon Gamow, who's come all the way from Australia yes. with his film, That Sugar Film. Sugar is now found in 80% of the foods we eat. But with the constant confusion over its effects on our health, and with this little person on the way, I feel like I need some definitive answers. The point is to test out a very high sugar diet. How are you going to do that? Do you want to match averages? 40 teaspoons of sugar a day. 40 a day. The intention of the film is not to demonise sugar and tell people they can never have it again. It's to say the World Health Organisation now says we should have six teaspoons of sugar a day for optimal health. Mm -hmm. So if we want to get to six, you've got to actually be aware of where sugar's hiding in different foods so that you actually know what moderation means. Because at exactly. the moment, people have a chocolate bar at the end of the day thinking, well, that's my treat, but it's probably their 30th teaspoon of sugar for right. the day. So we're saying still have that chocolate if you want to, but maybe don't have the juices and the low-fat yogurts on the same day because exactly. that's what's getting your count so high. Exactly. Well, I thought you might be thirsty, so I got you some lovely cranberry juice, yeah. barbecue sauce, in case you feel like a berry boost from the Bold House yeah. Farms. Looks super healthy. Yep. And there's some pasta sauce. I mean, surely. And how about these little bad boys? Right. Better than a Kit Kat. This is about health washing. This is about companies and products that advertise as being healthy and good for you yeah. but there's all sorts of sneaky ways to hide things in there it makes my blood boil as, <laughs> yeah, a, as, sure. a, as just a regular consumer of, of yeah. foods but also a nutritionist it makes mm -hmm. my blood boil the onus is on the consumer to be educated and it's not easy no well look there's a great study done in australia recently that said 55 percent of people get their nutritional advice from the label compared to 25 percent from a health advocate right. so that means if someone picks this up in a supermarket and they see you know, Bold House Farms, there's a sunset there, there's fresh berries. Mm -hmm. You're going to get that for your child thinking it's a better choice than a Coca-Cola. But in reality, what is that one? That's 29 grams, so that's seven teaspoons of sugar in that bottle. Oh my God. So that's just under a Coke. Right. But look at the marketing and the way that's advertised. Yeah. You know? So it's again, it's just getting people to understand that these are the ploys that have been used and implemented yeah. over the last 30 years, and we're going to wise up to that. I think if people see a teaspoon, it's more visceral, it's yes. kind of obvious. Yeah. So one teaspoon of sugar is four grams. Right. So for example, this barbecue sauce says that in two tablespoons, yeah. there's 13 grams. So 13 divided by four is three. So you know there's three teaspoons of in sugar. In two tablespoons. In two tablespoons. So it's basically just all sugar. Just sugar. And if you're only supposed to have six a day, then half your daily right. recommendation is, is just in one serve of this. You're not feeling very well at all today. My fuse is a lot shorter. Your mental function is just unstable. It kept it entertaining. Well, that was the kind of the whole mission. I remember at the start I had a quote on my computer. It's an Oscar Wilde quote. It said, if you want to tell people the truth, you've got to make them laugh or they'll kill you. And I think that's particularly pertinent when you're dealing with a $50 billion sugar industry. It kind of pays to keep a light. Otherwise, I might have disappeared one night without knowing it. I wondered about that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, seriously. There's still a possibility. <laughs> exactly. So you know what's happened. This is like a raw, unpasteurized mm -hmm. honey. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's sugar, yep. but it's full of nutrients. It's that's full right. of all sorts of stuff that naturally occurs. So, you know, it's just about... Yeah, and if you're going to have a treat with honey every now and again, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's only if the food industry start putting raw honey into in everything of food yeah, exactly. um, that we're in trouble. Sugar sort of activates very primal reward centers in our brain. When we were evolving, it was rare. So if you saw fruit or some honey, you just went, get that, because yeah. I'm not going to get it very often. I'm going to live. Yeah, that's right. I want to live. I want to live. But now it's in, no, it's it's in the 75% of the foods we eat. So it's everywhere, and our poor brains are like, you go down the street, you see a Krispy Kreme donut on the side of a bus. Your right. dopamine's going on, the brain's going off. Yeah. So the companies are aware of what foods and what sugar does to our brains, and so they put it in advertising. Right. You know, and I guess like with tobacco, hopefully we'll get to a point in 30 or 40 years where we won't be allowed to put those things in public because there are people that are vulnerable to this, kids especially. Yes. You won't be able to put this imagery out there. Yeah. Um, I'm confident we'll get there. It's just, just going to be clunky on the way. And I hope like one day that we get to a point that you know, these are affordable, they're subsidised. Maybe if we yeah. do do a sugar tax, that it subsidises these so people can afford these. These should be the cheap things, exactly. not junk food. Like, well, that's the thing. you got to ask not why is real food so expensive, but why is the processed stuff so cheap? That's right. I don't want people berating themselves. And, no, you know, no. having all this stress about that. what no. we're eating is, is counterproductive. No, that's right. So it's just about, like, making small steps. And for me, the thing I advocate is just eating real food. The more whole foods you eat, 
It's so just, simple. Just easy. It's so simple. Because then your body does the things it's supposed to do. It triggers the appetite control centers. It releases these hormones that tell you when you're full. And you'll kind of get back to sort of living as you're supposed to live. Yeah. You know? But once you interfere and, and get off the path, that's when you start getting these complications with hormones that are trapping yeah. fat and all sorts of things that are happening. So it is really about that message. And, and look, that's hard for some people because we don't all have access to those kind of real foods. Sometimes they're more expensive. But we often say to people, you just start wherever is right for you. Exactly. In fact, if you're still taking your family to Taco Bell, then hey, choose water instead of a Coke, at least as a start, exactly. so that you're sort of taking those baby steps and eventually who knows where it might lead. We're kind of all in this together, you know what I mean? And it's not sort of just something I think at the moment that more affluent um, people in suburbs understand around the world. Yeah. What we're trying to do with the film is, is penetrate what I like to call the quinoa curtain, like get beyond <laughs> that line and get it seen. Congratulations to you for doing this and being part of the, you know, yeah. the real movement to make a change and to make people laugh while yeah. you're at it, right? Well, that's that's like, the goal. I'm, I'm going to promote that picture of you on that toast with jam all over your naked sure. body. Thank you. As much as you will. <laughs> Some people won't laugh at that though. They'll probably cringe, but that's fine. What does your yeah. wife think? She secretly loves it, I reckon. Does she? Yeah, yeah. but that's, that's, that's for another That's for time. another conversation. Yeah. <laughs>